continuing with Dr. Duesberg. But the American or European wasting disease is actually specifically defined as a non-parasitic disease. Anyway, 6% is dementia, 3% is lymphoma cancer. If you add those up, that's 38% of all American AIDS cases. Out of 250,000, that's about 100,000. Their diseases cannot be explained by any form of immunodeficiency whatsoever. Why is it considered AIDS then, asks Finn. That's one of the questions I would love to know the answer to. I have asked several experts. They always get mad. AIDS is always presented as if it's the immune deficiency. It is not at all. Cancer has nothing to do with immune deficiency. Spin. So what is the common denominator between all of the 25 AIDS diseases? Duesberg. None. They name it AIDS. That's all. None of these 38% have anything whatsoever to do with immunodeficiency, but they're called AIDS. That's not one AIDS disease. There's not one AIDS disease that's new. What is new is only the incidence of these diseases in 20 to 45 year old men, mostly, and a few women, which has gone up. Spin. I've always thought the 25 diseases that formed the AIDS syndrome had the common denominator that they were the result of immune systems' inability to stave them off. Duesberg. Now listen to this carefully, folks. That's how they try to sell it without looking at the evidence. But cancer is not a consequence of immune deficiency, and we're talking about Kaposi sarcoma. Dementia has nothing to do with the immune system. Your brain is independent of the immune system. Of course, if there's no immune system and your brain gets infected, you can get meningitis, but it doesn't affect your IQ. Sure, in the end, if everything fails, you can get all sorts of diseases. Even if you accommodate the virus with all sorts of absurd and paradoxical hypotheses, indirect mechanisms, cofactors, autoimmunity, a 10-year latency period, even that doesn't get you around the solid number of 4,621 HIV-free AIDS cases worldwide, with a third of these in the United States. How do you explain those? You couldn't have a better alibi than for it not to be there. You couldn't have a better alibi, and that is suppressed. Here we have a real cover-up. Last year, the numbers of these cases was going up like crazy. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, the National Institute of Health and the CDC, called a meeting. And you know what they did? They gave it a new name. They call it idiopathic CD4 lymphocytopenia, or ICL. When you're HIV-free now, folks, it's no longer called AIDS. They're going to diagnose you as having ICL. Spin. There are 4,000 cases that don't have HIV, but the 250,000 plus cases that remain do have HIV. Duesberg, that's what you think. How do you know that? Spin, because they've been tested. Duesberg, by whom? Spin, by their physicians. Duesberg, so who tells us that they have been tested? Spin. A guy goes to his doctor, clearly very ill. He has AIDS. He's tested or was tested earlier and is found to be HIV positive. Duesberg. Even now, there is no record anywhere that says in how many American AIDS cases HIV was actually found. And you know what, folks? Dr. Duesberg is right, because I have found out exactly the same thing. Spin. But in every AIDS case, the CDC would know whether or not the patients were HIV positive because their physicians reported it. Listen carefully what Dr. Duesberg responds with. I verified this personally. You're led to believe this by the CDC, but the evidence that HIV is there, they never disclose. Nowhere in the HIV slash AIDS surveillance report, as they call the national statistics kept by the CDC, do you ever find HIV data. No survey on HIV at all. All they talk about is AIDS, and then you read a little more of the fine print as to how AIDS is defined. They accept what you call presumptive diagnosis, AIDS cases without HIV tests. You know what that means? That means this guy wears a leather jacket, has an earring, and is coughing, and he's from San Francisco. That's an AIDS case. I don't even have to check it, his physician thinks. 
I recently wrote a letter to Harold Jack, the acting director of Division of HIV slash AIDS at the CDC. He acknowledged 43,606 presumptive diagnoses up to 1988. Dr. Duesberg says he's checked the literature, and he says he's came up with 62,000 and change cases until 1992. Spin. Let me get this straight. You're saying between 43,000 and 62,000 of the cases of AIDS up until 1992 were not tested, which means we have no idea whether or not they were HIV positive? Dr. Duesberg responds, absolutely. Spin. They may or may not have been HIV positive. Duesburg, yes. Even the latest AIDS definition in January 1993, they allowed presumptive diagnosis. In other words, a good number of them, even now, will be reported without an HIV test. And folks, don't let that throw you, because as I showed on the last show, HIV testing is nonsense. Continuing. Spin. The public perception is that all cases of AIDS have HIV that a case is not defined as AIDS without the presence of HIV, which would mean, by definition, that somebody tested them. Duesberg, most people assume, like you, that everyone with AIDS is positive, and that's not the end yet. We have what is called false positive antibody tests. They call them HIV tests. But you know what they're testing? The antibody can be there, and the virus could be long gone. I told you I wasn't making it up, folks. Spin. Additionally, there are cross-reactions, where the antibody might react, say, to malaria or th arthritis, and that's mistaken for engaging HIV. Duesberg. Exactly. Or people vaccinated for the flu. Blood donors. Ten recently. Seven out of ten were positive for HIV. Remember what I said, folks. Remember. There are many other diseases and reactions that will bring you a positive test for an HIV antibody, and most of the AIDS tests that are being used now, and even that shouldn't make you go out and want to get tested, because even if you find you have HIV, there are 5,000 people walking around in the world right now who have been diagnosed with AIDS and don't have a scratch of HIV in them.